right, guys. Today we are at Suppressed Fest 2022. There are so many vendors out here. We can't wait to get into it. And today's gonna be a lot different than normal. We were not gonna be doing a lot of talking today. No uh, in office for you guys today. We're gonna have a lot of B-roll for you guys showing you all these awesome vendors that are here out giving demos. Guys, make sure if you see any vendors here too, you go give them a follow as well. And once again, shout out to NFA Review Channel for hosting this crazy event. All right, let's go ahead and get started. diameter cans they're both perfect for your PCCs we've got scorpion mounts for them we have Uzi mounts for them we have MPX mounts for them so I mean it's not just the tri lug right but there's a lot of flexibility with this can to go on a wide variety of PCCs so both of them are awesome right this one is the very maximum sound reduction you will ever see out of a nine millimeter weapon obviously right incredible tested on pure science whatever that's cool. This guy here is a little bit smaller form factor. If you want to kick down doors and have a room clearing gun and a backpack gun, yes. this is probably the one that you're looking for. Yes. Okay? Ooh. So pretty wicked cool. A lot of flexibility with both of these cans to use on the Uzi, uh, you know, Scorpion, the MPX, everything. Furniture and the towels, the freaking uh, refrigerator, all right, and they're rolling all the shit out of there. Then he walks out of the vault, out of the gun room, and the whole house is empty. He's got his gun and his night vision. My name's Kevin. Yes. So we can uh, we can process an order with you, all right? Do me a freaking mess. We've got a person set. I've got one to the What did you think? It's like shooting a 22. That was unbelievable, especially the layout that the Fat Man is. It feels so nice, and it's like you said, a perfect backpack gun. What did you think, Jose? What did you think about that, dude? That's so fucking quiet. phenomenal, man. Un un literally unreal. Dude. No ears. <laughs> this is nothing, dude. <laughs> what do you What do you think about it? So I, I definitely like. The I think. When you're shooting a PCC like that, you're used to it being small and compact. Having anything extra on the end kind of feels weird. It's kind of like, I don't know. I like the compactness of it, for sure. I 
this guy in the black shirt over here, he looks like yeah. Jose when he was like 13. And three quarters. <laughs> so that's what, that's what this is, right? It's a toolless adjustable gas block. They are 15, about 625 and 750. Uh, so I had it on the bag, but most barrels are coming out with 875. They're not available yet. So we've got 12 unique settings. We've got a stop at each end so you won't get outside of the adjustment range. The only difference in these is this control knob on the end, right? And that's just to allow it to get out from under the handguard. Okay, okay. So if you get on our website, we've got the very first link is a configurator. You can put handguard linked in, barrel link, gas system. It'll tell you which one of these are compatible with your rifle. Yeah. Wow. And sometimes it'll be more than that. Uh, we like to get the shortest one that'll fit just so you got the least amount exposed here. Um, but the other nice thing about it is completely modular. So if you get a system, you run it for a while and decide to change your handguard, you don't have to buy a whole new system if you need a longer one, right? Or if you need a shorter one. You can buy just a control knob and it comes apart. So drive it all the way down to position one, hold the tab in. That'll allow it to get over that rotation stop. And it comes apart just that simple. So you can change these out. So it operates with a plunger. And we've got 10 unique links of that plunger. It comes with two. It'll fit 90% of the configurations. It'll, it'll allow them to run. But if you decide you want to change it, and the reason you would is let's say you've got minimum setting for your rifle is, comes out to three. That's what you figure out, right? You might want that to be one. Because if you go, if it's set to three, you go to two or one, it's not gonna run. So you don't want to actually run it. You can change your plunger to make that minimum setting one for your rifle so you don't ever put it in a situation where you can't run, right? And as far as maintenance goes, what we recommend is just to, just to put a drop of CLP lube right there on that plunger every time you get done shooting. You just work it a couple of times, you're good to go. All right, what'd you think of it? Um, when I do get a suppressor from an AR, that is 100% going on my phone. <laughs> difference alone is whether how you want to shoot it or how you need to tune it, that's the way to go. <laughs> All right.
All right, guys, so we're on the wrap up of day two of the NFA Suppressor Fest 2022. What a great time, what a great experience. All these vendors trying out different guns we never shot before, different ammos we didn't shoot for, while all suppress. Man, this was such a great time. Definitely coming back next year. We definitely did, and we want to give a big shout out to NFA Suppressed Fest for putting on this show. We're hoping that they do another one next year. They said they're going to. You never know what happens in the world at this point, but we will be back next year for the next one. We are so excited to have seen so many vendors out here, So man. many, it's so awesome. So what was your favorite caliber that you got to shoot? That, uh, that 300 normal, bro? That thing was wicked, dude. I love that thing. I'm gonna look more into that when I get home. And hey, man, that might be in my future. Well, I think mine my, probably was the 338 Lapua because that was definitely fun to shoot. And it's definitely opened a lot of different calibers that we could put in a bolt action, mm -hmm. even that 300 blackout oh, yeah. that we got to shoot. That 300 blackout was nice. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching the whole video. We've had so much fun today. There's so many people to shout out, but we can't get to everyone's name. So we're gonna go ahead and put a screenshot on the screen right after this of all the companies that we actually got to see today and that were a part of the NFA Suppress Fest 2022. All right, guys, make sure you go follow all of our socials. Our link tree is down in the description below. Go check out that description. You might see some great deals on gundeals.com if you see that down there. And always remember, Who's got your six?